the NBA. How to All right. I added a four point line to NBA. This is what happened. Four point line. By Jimmy I rolled. The idea of a four point line has bounced around the league for years, but has remained just that. I don't think they're gonna add a four point play, bro. There's no, I mean, the poor four point no shot. Actually did. How would a four point There's no way they're putting a four point line, bro. No way. Who would take them? And the the score be gonna be too high. Point. People gonna start shooting There's from everywhere. Really to Curry out. gonna be the goat. So I added one. If he's not really is. And this is gonna be a lot of blowout, bro. Teams that don't really have good shooters gonna get destroyed. Today's video is right, sponsored yeah. by Pay your bills, buddy. Pay your bills. It's been I'm just gonna months. skip all the no way. Oh, the deal start. The spot on the court where we got Trey Young in the building. Bomb, but he's not pointing to just any random spot. He's pointing at the four point line. Now, you or I can't see the four point line because it's not on this court. But Trey can see it because it's on his court. Years ago, within the Atlanta Hawks practice facility, the organization implemented a four point line. 29 feet out from the basket. Imagine they actually had a four point line, though. How will the NBA go from there? can hit these shots because he practices these shots. And the Hawks aren't the only team that have incorporated a four point line into their practices. The Bucks have a four point I mean, it's a good thing that you practice the tripping shot from long range and everything. So, in a situation where you need to shoot from that from that four, you're gonna get it because you practice it, right? Facility, as do the seven That's smart as fuck. Rockets and many other teams. Here's Milwaukee's practice court with squares indicating four pointers, and here's that exact concept playing out in real time. With the NBA seeing an explosion in three pointers mm. over the last damn, weekend, the NBA gonna I'm start sure soon, baby. Couple of months, and we may not see I'm gonna go crazy on Bet 265. Soon, but we have seen it in other places. The big three league, which features mostly mm. NBA players and overseas pros, doesn't quite have a four point line, but they do have a four point spot called the Fireball Three, a spot 30 feet away from the rim. Where Is that Dennis? Four points. Dylan, something or whatever. The league average from the four point shot is 15%. Similar to the Big Three League, the WNBA has included a similar four point spot for the last two All Star games. Same conditions as the Big Three League, but this spot is 20. Yo, there's a lot of people watching this in game. The what the fuck? WNBA All -Star game, Yo, I thought they said there was no one watching, bro. They capping, bro. That's a lot of people. On no, of them, whoa. Giving them a four point percentage Damn. of 20. That's a lot of people, bro. In the American Basketball Association, any shot past That's what's up. court is a four point shot. So this shot is doable, and it's been incorporated into games to some capacity before. But what if the NBA added a four-point shot? How far out would it be? How would it change the game we know? And who would be the best four-point shooter? You would change by a lot, bro. In 2020, an article published by the Northeastern Sports Analytics Group went into detail about the possibility of a four-point line, how the shot would change the anatomy of the game, and exactly what it would look like. Within their data, researchers found that in order for the shot to make sense, the distance would have to be just right. The number they came up with? 30 feet. Any closer, and the shot would be too easy. Any further, and the shot wouldn't be worth taking. We've talked about this concept before. How efficient feet. any given shot is, and how that leads to the way teams set up their offense, otherwise mm. known as points per shot. John ain't gonna miss some couple months, bro, because his brain is not working properly. He lost a couple of brain cells the, the last year, you know. Value for every three pointer was 1.083 points, essentially making both shots about equally as efficient on average. Now, since 1996, the NBA has been keeping track of shot data, where shots were taken and the success rates of those shots. And with this data, we can figure out the expected shot value not only by category, but by distance. For example, if the four point line were, let's say 24 feet out, we can sort through every shot taken from 24 feet, find the league wide average for that shot distance, and then just divide four points by that number. The league average field goal percentage from 24 feet out is about 35%, which means if the four point line was set at 24 feet, the expected shot value would be 1.44 points, mm. far more than both three pointers and two pointers. So we gotta move it back further. 
At 25 feet, the expected shot value would be 1.39 points, which is still far too efficient. Keep moving this theoretical line back, and to match the efficiency of twos and threes, the four point line would have to fall somewhere between 28 and 29 feet away from the basket. But we don't want the league to turn into a four point shootout. We need the shot to present enough risk for players to shoot it only on occasion. So if we move the four point line, even if you do that, but there's gonna be one player we're gonna start shooting that shit every time. Maybe there's a week and still make their shots, bro. I feel like Demi Lillard, Curry, Clay Thompson, those guys can make those shots, bro. And there's a lot of other dudes too. For our new four point shots. So if the NBA decided to implement Harden can make that maybe. Who would be the best four point shooters in the league? Well, the answer may not be what you think. Now, this is what a 30 foot shot. I don't think it's Curry. Like. Curry don't really shoot from that far. From here on out, he do, but not that much. Probably Trey. A distance that is far beyond any valuable shot when they're only worth three points. But despite this, players keep taking them. The NBA record for the most theoretical four pointers made in a game is a four way tie between D'Angelo Russell, Stephen Curry, what the f Lillard, and Trey Young. D'Angelo Russell is number one? In a single game. Five shots made in a single game from at least 30 feet out. Oh, they tied, okay. But still, well, that's insane from Dion Jolo, bro. History came from Damian Lillard back in 2020 when he attempted 10 four pointers in a single game. In total, Dame shot 15 threes, 10 of which were beyond 30 feet out. A feat that would have most players in trade packages the very next day. Ever since Told you. The NBA began keeping track of play by play data. But I didn't expect the Angelo Russell, bro. Has made at That's least a surprise. Four pointers. Out of those 51 games, 36 of them came from either Steph and Curry. Curry, Trey, Angelo Russell, I think we need them. Bro, I see some name that I don't even know. But wait. <laughs> Yo, hold on, bro. Okay, okay, never mind. Mm, it's always the same dudes. Always the same dudes. Damian Lillard or Trey Young. Because Tyrese Early Burton is in there. On the planet, these three are among the handful of players that should even be shooting these shots in the first place. But how much would a four point line really change the game? Well, it would be impossible to know the ripple effect of such a monumental change. Oof. But after he made that, I know he made that. Tracking the shot data and results of each and every game last season, I found that there were only two games out of the total 1,314 games played where a four point line would have altered the results of the game. That's instances where if the shots made beyond 30 feet were counted as four pointers instead of three pointers, it would have swung the point total enough to turn the loss into a win and vice versa. Mm. That's two games in an entire season. In fact, since 1996, there have been 20 instances where the outcome of a game would have been altered as a direct result of a four pointer. Games where a three pointer was made to tie the game and send it into overtime. But if the shot was a four pointer, it would have outright won the game. So with everything else remaining the same, it's clear that giving an extra point for these bombs wouldn't actually change a whole lot. At least not for those who don't take them. But what about the players who do? Last season alone, across the NBA, there were 2,192 shots taken from at least 30 feet out. Which sounds like a lot, but it only made up about 2.6% <clears throat> of all shots taken beyond the three-point line last season. And of all these now four-pointers, the league-wide average field goal percentage was just 17.3%. This is a difficult shot. Luka Doncic shot 34 shots from at least 30 feet out last season. Mm. He made just five of them. Anthony Edwards shot 13, and he made just one. Whoa. Which would give him a four-point field goal percentage of 7%. But not all players are abysmal from this distance. Last season, Jordan Poole shot 72 four-pointers and knocked down 32% of them. Holy fuck. As deadly from four-point range as John Morant, De'Aaron Fox, and DeMar DeRozan are from three-point range. And if that doesn't rattle your brain, Darius Garland attempted oh, 27 bro, what the fuck? last season and knocked down 11 of them, giving him an absurd four-point shooting percentage of 41%, which is exactly the same as his three-point percentage. But these numbers are from just last season. If we take a look at tracking data dating back to 1996, here's a chart of the players who shot the most.
most four-pointers throughout the last 27 seasons. And very quickly, you can see just how uncommon shots from this four-point distance are. Devin Booker is 42nd all-time in shots attempted from at least 30 feet, and he's only taken 109 in his entire career. Carmelo Anthony was a brick from this range. There's Darius Garland. He's a wizard from 30 feet out. Keep going up the chart, and one thing that jumps out is that being a good three-point shooter doesn't necessarily make a player a good four-point shooter. Ray Allen shot 157 four-pointers throughout his career and only hit 5.7% of them, mm. whereas Luka Doncic, a notorious 22.6% shooter, shoots four-pointers well above league average. And as we approach the top of this list, the total shot attempts from this range begin to increase almost exponentially. LeBron has attempted 304 four-pointers in his 20-year career. Trey Young has attempted 536 in just five seasons. What? Keep going Not Trey Strippen, bro. Yo. Topping the all-time four-point leaderboard. Steph Curry and Damian Lillard. Steph and Curry have virtually shot the same amount of four-pointers throughout their careers, both of them on relatively excellent field goal percentage. But this is just the total amount of four-pointers players have attempted throughout their careers. What might be more revealing is the rate at which players shoot these long balls. And if we take a look at four pointers attempted per season, there's one player throughout NBA history who is miles above everyone else. It isn't Steph or Dame. It isn't a historically great scorer like James Harden or Kobe Bryant. It isn't a prolific sharpshooter like Reggie Miller or Clay Thompson. If the four point line existed, the player who would oh, he, Russell? be the greatest four point shooter of all Russell? time is Trey, Trey Young. Young. <laughs> attempting over oh, you yeah, I say that at the beginning. I did say that. Per season, I did say that at the beginning. There isn't a single player within Trey Young's galaxy. Trey and the Young. Dive into the numbers, the more obvious this becomes. With a career shooting percentage of 33% on shots at least 30 feet out, if the four point line existed, Trey Young would have an expected shot value of 1.33 points off of four pointers, making it the single most valuable shot in basketball outside of uncontested layups. For perspective, in a league with a four point line, the best big men Look at Trey Young, man. have a lower points per shot value on contested layups than Trey Young does from 30 feet out, which would make a 30 plus foot bomb by Trey Young more efficient than a defended layup from the reigning MVP. Do you understand how ridiculous that is? And this gap in value only gets larger as we go further from the basket. Kevin Durant is a mid-range juggernaut. His points per shot on mid-range jumpers is 1.1 points. Back up to the three-point line, and if you take the most accurate volume three-point shooter in the league, Tyrese Maxey, his three-pointers are still less valuable than Trey Young's 30-foot four-point. Stephen Curry is the undisputed king of the three ball. He single-handedly revolutionized the game with his range. And yet, somehow, Trey Young has already made more career four-pointers, or shots at least 30 feet out, than Stephen Curry has. It's probably a good thing that this shot doesn't exist in the NBA. But if it did, Trey Young would be the best to ever do it. Oof. Here is a visual of each sector on the floor by distance. And here are some of the most prolific scores from each of those sectors, along with their career points per shot from that distance. From short range, you've got dominant and efficient bigs, players who control the paint. Damn, your kids, bro. What the fuck? Shots in basketball. So take a step back to the mid range, and you'll see, for the most part, efficiency actually remains consistent with players like Kawhi, Dirk, and CP. Damn, look at the Rose in it, Chris, bro, and did the mid range shot. Two point snipers. Despite this being Kawhi's guy, he's that talent, bro. Players like Devin yeah, Kawhi do shoot all mid range as well. Irving have kept this shot alive and well. Take it one step further, and that extra point from the three-point line Curry. makes three-pointers in the right hands. One of the most lethal shots in the game, with Stephen Curry, Klay Thompson, and Ray Allen all gaining at least 1.2 points per shot from this distance. Since 1996, these are the shots you want, who you want taking them, and how much they're worth. And then, there's Trey Young, <laughs> who, in a league where Holy a fuck. four-pointer existed, would possess the most valuable shot in basketball despite taking look at trey him. man trey young the four the <laughs> the greatest four points player of all time <laughs> the greatest four point shooter of all time 
Imagine? Like, that would be insane, bro.